you can walk into the voting booth, get drunk, and vote for the R, and know that he or she will not raise your taxes. We've got the, the we've branded the Republican Party as the party that won't raise your taxes. And Coca-Cola spends a lot of time branding Coca-Cola, so you can go pick up a Coke at the store, throw it in the in the basket, take it home. You don't have to taste it, look at it, ask your friends about it. Coca-Cola has quality control so that the brand makes it easy to buy. We want quality control for Republicans so it's easy to go and vote for the R. Were you to take your Coke bottle home, go through half of it, look down and see that in, you know, you, there's a rat head in what's left of your Coke bottle, you don't say to yourself, I'm thinking I won't finish this particular bottle of Coke. You would, in fact, wonder about buying Coke in the future. You'd go on local TV and show them the cool rat head and tell your friends about it. You would hurt Coke's brand around the world. That's why they're not rat heads in a Coke bottle. Republicans who vote for tax increases are rat heads in a Coke bottle. They damage the brand for everyone else. This is not a victimless crime. You know, oh, there's Johnny over in the corner raising taxes. How sad for him and his family. Okay. That's not it. It hurts every other Republican when somebody goes south and votes for tax increase because it confuses small children about the nature of the world uh, and makes it tougher to just go in and vote for the R. So that's why it's important for the R's to maintain the brand on tax, and they largely have 